The Rangers are coming and they're in Aberdeen's town. Welcome back to Big Stevie Cool 1872 here on Chris Boyd. It's kind of broke the Scottish football bubble by suggesting that Aberdeen lie down to Celtic and that their performance yesterday was absolutely unacceptable and embarrassing. And you know what? I 127% agree with Chris Boyd. You know what? I would actually go saying this is facts. Now, I'm not suggesting, right, that Aberdeen rock up to every Celtic game and they literally just lie down to them and, and, and let Celtic win. But the difference between when they play Rangers and they play it is night and day, man. It's it, it actually is embarrassing. Like they went into that game yesterday, it's like, ah well, we'll lose. Doesn't really matter. But Rangers is next. That's the real game. Now here, from a Rangers point of view, ah, they, they see us as the real challenge, but in all seriousness, that was one of the worst performance I mean it was the worst performance this season for any team that I've seen. Right, and I've witnessed a lot of shite with Rangers, but they went up to Celtic Park, well, down to Celtic Park. If you're going for it from Aberdeen, um, they just parked the bus for the minute go, and we're two 0 down after like ten minutes. What's the fucking game plan there? And, and people are like, oh, Chris Boyd's insinuating. How can one of Scotland's top pundits say that? Oh, Aberdeen are lying down to Celtic. I don't know. A lot of these top pundits are accusing Rangers of a penalty bias. And see if you look, right, at the penalties this season. Rangers and Celtic both received 60, 6 each, sorry. They've both scored 4 and they've both missed 2. Now that stat's irrelevant, but it's the fact that they've both been awarded 6 penalties. So we have got pundits out here, Chris Sutton, crying about penalties. We've got Mark Wilson, crying about penalties. We've got James McFadden crying about penalties, and yet Rangers and Celtic have been awarded the same amount of penalties. But we know, we, we, I mean, this is everybody. This isn't just top pundits, man. I've seen the the flogger Blair McNally out there. Even my co-host yesterday saying the Rangers are getting an abnormal amount of penalties. It's the same as Celtic, but but no highlights shown on Celtic. It, it, it's fucking. It, it's sad. It's desperate, and honestly, it needs to be fucking dropped. But. Back to what Chris Boyd said about Aberdeen. He said, you lose three goals inside seven minutes. It's embarrassing. But then he ended it with, Barry Robson won't have a problem getting them up for the next game because Rangers are in town. And he's, f he, yo, he's absolutely on the money. Absolutely. You know what? And fucking, it's incredible. Now, we've got Celtic fans bashing him, saying, raging homo. We've got a homophobia here yeah, for... For, from Joe Masashi, uh, we've got Igna, Igna, Ignamaric Boy saying, can't believe you pay this guy a wage, he's embarrassment to your organisation. Um, but no, no it gets me, these are Celtic fans saying this, but all their pundits do are have meltdowns and prior to old farm games, they talk about how there's a bias in referees and that they get no decisions. They're all fucking fuds. I fucking hate I fucking hate them all, man. I, I, honestly, that's the truth. They're obsessed. Fucking always playing the victim here. But what Boyd's come out and said is true. Uh, you know, look, look at when, look at when fucking Rangers need Aberdeen to lose to Celtic at Parkhead all those seasons ago to finish second. Oh, what happened? Oh, I Celtic laid down the Aberdeen and let Aberdeen win. But it's all a conspiracy, isn't it? You know, it's all a conspiracy. The SFA, oh brother, beaten. Fucking Chris Boyd meltdown. That game yesterday was a, a, dis a disgrace, man. It was. And you know what? Aberdeen are going to turn up. And I'm not saying, right, that every game between Rangers and Aberdeen is a, you know, Aberdeen turn up to the 127%, man. They play their game of the season every single game against Rangers, right? Because there's been times, you know, recently, I believe we believe beat them 5 0 a couple of seasons ago. Jermaine Defoe getting a goal or two. Um, obviously, those games are going to happen. But let's just be real. Let's just call a fucking spade. A spade. And the spade is, when when Aberdeen and Celtic play, it's a guaranteed 12 points a season for Ab for Celtic. So, let's just reel it in, folks, and accept what's happening in Scottish football. And I'll tell you what's happening in Scottish football. It's a disgrace. They lie down to them. We all know they do. And that's the bottom line.
So yeah, have at it, Celtic fans. Get in the comment section because I'll get fucking stuck in to every single one of you. But anyway, Rangers don't need teams to lie down to him because see big Phil Clement, he's lifting title 56 and Celtic will be in our shadow forevermore. Until then, peace.